Hi guys, this is a video on Windows software. Uh, Hellspawn left me a message a couple of days ago. Thank you for leaving comments with video requests. He says here, since you like making comparisons, I was thinking, can you do one on music players? I currently have Windows Media Player 11 and iTunes. I love iTunes, but it's a resource hog on my PC. That is absolutely fine. Here we have four music players, Windows Media Player, iTunes, Winamp, and FUBAR 2000. These are what I consider to be the four most popular. If I'm missing yours out or anything like that, feel free to leave me a message calling me crap or something like that. I don't mind. What am I going to be comparing? Services used without the player running, so this is basically things that are running in the background without you knowing, monitoring things like uh, MP3 players or things that will speed up the process of opening your media player, basically things you probably haven't given permission for but they run anyway. Uh, cold start time, how long it takes to load up these programs. I've got a program called Xnote Stopwatch, I've used it previously, uh, just using an evaluation version. Formulator. Uh, this allows me to use hotkeys to start, uh, I press, for example, I press Enter to start Windows Media Player, press Alt and S straight afterwards to start the stopwatch, so it makes it more accurate than clicking. Uh, the RAM went idle, so basically with the program open but not starting a, a piece of music. Uh, time taken to import approximately 1,800 songs, which is basically my music collection, and the RAM playing a song. So. Without delay, let's start. We're going to find out what the services used by Windows Media Player are, if there's anything running in the background. So we're in the services here, we went services.msc into run to go to the services area. So we're looking to see if there's anything that starts automatically with your computer. And we're looking under Windows Media Player. Here we have the network service, but it's not started and it's not automatic. So Windows Media Player doesn't have anything that starts when your computer starts, which is good. So we're now going to start Windows Media Player, see how long it takes to start. Okay, so it's at 2.25 seconds to load the player fully. The RAM on idle. We're going to see how long, how much RAM it takes. So we're looking at WM Player here. It's using 21.4 megabytes to run this player. Okay, the time taken to import approximately 1,800 songs. So we're going to restart the stopwatch. We're going to say click here. We're going my folders. I've mapped my music to a drive, so this doesn't automatically do it from my music. And as you can see, it's on drive Z, which is my entire music collection. So we're going to add. We're going to go to my computer and drive Z. I'm going to press OK. As soon as I press OK, it's going to start scanning. So I'm going to start the stopwatch now. So now it's getting ready to scan all of my files. It's going to take quite a while to do because it's using it, it's going through my network onto my actual computer to access all the files. So as you can see, it's now finding the files. So I'm now going to pause the video. I'm going to come back when this is done and I'll tell you how long it's taken. So see you in a bit. Hi guys, we're back and it's taken 6 minutes and 43 seconds to complete its search. So now we've done that, I'm going to reset the stopwatch for the next bit. I'm just going to play in sync. Even It's a rubbish song, but we're just testing to see. It's taking 34 megabytes of RAM while it's playing a song. So that is Windows Media Player. iTunes. Now iTunes is a big rogue when it turns when it comes to having things running in the background. So here we have Apple Mobile Device oops, started automatically, which is part of the iTunes interface. Uh, part of the iTunes, sorry, the iTunes, things like iPhones and things like that. iPod service started, manual. So iPod service has started and we're not even running iTunes. And another one, I believe, is called iTunes Hel Helper. <clears throat> which is used to make iTunes faster. See, iTunes Helper is using 8 mega RAM, so we're going to end this because it makes it run faster, which won't help for our next test, which is to see how long it takes to start. So, let's go. It 
it's taken 7.82 seconds to load up iTunes. So, where am I on idle? As you can see, we, we're not going to add on the extra ones, but we're looking for iTunes.exe and it's taking 40 meg of RAM. And we're now going to add our folder and see how long it takes to load them all in. So we're going to add a folder to the library, my computer, Z. As soon as I press OK, we'll start. So it's now going to process them all, as soon as it's done I'll let you know, I'll be back in a second. Hi guys, we're back and it took 7 minutes and 42 seconds to do. It took just over 2 minutes to copy them across, but it took about 6 minutes to get the album artwork for them, or process the album artwork. So we're now going to play a RAM song, and we're going to check the RAM usage on it, again minusing the uh, extra ones, 51 meg while playing a song, and that is iTunes, Winamp. Now Winamp doesn't have any services that in the background, but it does have its little agent here which speeds up uh, starting, so we're going to disable it. We're going to restart the stopwatch, and we're going to start it. Okay, that took about 8 seconds to do. We're now going to check the RAM usage on it. Winamp seven, uh, sorry, eight meg. It's taking. We're now going to add to the library if we can. Add me to the library. We're going to say go to my computer, reset the stopwatch, drive Z, go. It's now searching for the file. So I'll be back again in a second. Hi guys, we're back and it's finished and it took 2 minutes 26 seconds, so a lot faster than Winamp. Now we're going to play something random, just that song there. And we're going to look at the resource usage. Winamp is using 21 meg, 24 meg, 25 meg, 26, 26 meg we'll stop at. So that is Winamp. Foobar is up next. And we're going to reset the stopwatch. Foobar doesn't use any services uh, apart. This is just loading straight from its folder. So let's start it up. And that's done. So that's 2.76 seconds to load up Foobar. So it's now idle. So we're going to check the task of it. Foobar 2000 is using 7 meg, 7.5 meg. So we're now going to reset the stopwatch and we're going to add the folder of the music drive here. As soon as it's done we're going to start stopwatch and we're going, it's processing. So hopefully I'll be back. Hi right, guys we're back and this is finished already and it's taken 28.26 seconds though I must say that this is loading it into a playlist and may not show things like album covers like anything else does but as you can see it has got show, it does show the metadata and things like that either way let's play a random song and check the resource usage Foobar 2000 15 meg while playing a song as you see not much at all on the CPU usage so that is all of the media players that I've got at the moment so again apologies if yours wasn't included uh, have you got one that's a lighter resource than this? Uh, would you recommend another one? Uh, you've got things like VLC Media Player, but I think they only open up one at a time or something, or their playlist is difficult to use, and I just wanted to get this done fairly quickly, well, within 10 minutes anyway, so thanks for watching my video. Uh, please rate and comment. If you like my videos, please subscribe. Thanks again.